Welcome back ninjas, ni hao, dobrodošli nazad, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. So, I didn't miss any shark models, so still excited to review it, uh, love the gaming phones, though I have to admit commercial smartphones are coming very close to gaming world. More and more flagship phones come with larger batteries, super loud stereo speakers, higher refresh rate screens, faster charging speeds for battery, almost in every segment they are coming really close to the gaming devices in jazz. But still, fact here is Shark 3 is the cheapest gaming smartphone with 8 gigs of RAM on the market with the Snapdragon 865 ninjas. Yes, there is the Redmi K30 Pro, I don't call that smartphone as a gaming device, it's not targeted as it is, but we'll see, I th and I still think that it's not gonna be cheaper with the 8 gigs of RAM. I know that the model uh, with 6 gigs of RAM will be $500, I think so, but uh, the 8 gigabyte RAM variant, I don't know how much it will be in the price tag. The biggest reason to buy it's already, this is the price itself, the 8 gigs of RAM, around $550 for the Black Shark 3 Ninjas. Anyway, in this video I will try to be very short with everything, giving you my list of pros and cons. You probably already know Ninjas, all the specs like design, blah 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 blah, so I'm gonna just give you simple uh, pros and the cons with slightly adding those spices with the, cons, uh, with the specs itself. Anyway, what are the main selling points of the Shark 3? Before that, I have to remind you, if you want to support my channel, shop online with my links, you can buy the Black Shark 3 on the Banggood, Trading Shenzhen and CCT shop for now and also probably maybe Gearbest, so I'm gonna leave all the buying links in the description and check what is the best choice for you. Anyway, very high touch sampling rate for responsive gaming experience. Cheapest Snapdragon A65 uh, gaming smartphone on the market. Joe UI, super great optimization with the shark mode. Excellent camera optimization for the gaming device because uh, Red Magic 5G doesn't have uh, this optimization which Joe UI or uh, customized MUI has. Dual front facing stereo speakers, fast charging speeds, and remember we have a 90 hertz refresh rate screen. Not 120, but still 90 hertz is really good ninjas. Anyway, let's begin first with the pros. What are the reasons to buy this device? Uh, anyway, so cheapest available Snapdragon A65 gaming phone with 8 gigs of RAM. Remember that Redmi K30 Pro will be cheaper with the Snapdragon A65, but will have 6 gigs of RAM. So that's why I'm adding 8 gigs of RAM in my title. <laughs> Adreno 650 scores above 200,000 points in a tutu. Insane game beast, Joyui with Android 10 latest update. Amazing design and 6.67 inch full HD plus display, AMOLED screen, brightness up to 500 luxes, a full 110% of the NTSC color, space is covered by the panel, DC dimming, HDR10 plus certified, uh, cert of course certified panel with the 90Hz refresh rate, 270Hz touch sampling rate, so so smooth touch experience for the gamers, great touch responsive time for the Black Shark 3, this is what other smartphones do not offer this kind of touch sampling experience ninjas, so remember that. Super powerful dual linear speakers, make sure to check my comparison with the Mi 10 to see which device has better speakers or with the Realme X2 Pro, also done the comparison with that device. Mic quality in videos is much better now, noise cancellation mic is also really good, the flagship level indeed. Also, we can use the, this gaming phone as an interview, you're gonna have really nice crispy sounds while recording something with the mic. Less than 60 minutes for full charge is impressive since battery is uh, really uh, big. 30 watts fast charging and 18 watts magnetic charging on the back while gaming. More expensive versions Pro come with the 65 watts fast charging technology which has insane, insane uh, charging speeds, like you see by South. Wi-Fi 6, yes, as we know with the Snapdragon A65 and with the 5G models, we have a dual band Wi-Fi, GLONASS and Beidou GPS, 2 nano SIM cards, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, UFS 3.0, remember that, 3.0, not 3.1, integrated dual mode 5G, Tencent's solar core, uh, solar core gaming acceleration engine, but only for the Tencent supported games, improved liquid cooling system, though like I said, Mi 10 for me is cooler, headphone jack is also included, which other flagship smartphones do not have, so I love that, I love that ninjas. What we else can mention, of course, always on display with the Xiaomi AMOLED screens. Pros, I have to put the triple cameras inside of it, as I remember and as I can say, Redmi K30 Pro for certainly will have probably the better cameras and better camera optimization, but as a gaming device, this is uh, for now the best gaming device with the best cameras. The iRs also works flawlessly, easy but uh, easy of course buy, next to the Magic 5G, uh, even already users reporting that the Ma uh, Magic 5G has some issues in the camera department. 64 megapixel main camera, 30 megapixel wide camera, 5 megapixel port 
uh, portrait mode and 20 megapixel selfie camera. Late lights on the back, fully customizable. Few varieties of options, love the gradient feature of the LED lights. Animations for waking up phone with the shark logo is also awesome, where you're gonna check it out. Good thing about Shark 3, it has cool gadgets available to purchase separately. PS, you get free case in the box, free screen protector already pre-installed on the phone. Cons, ninjas. Listen, sit, sit down and listen to me right now. What I can mention, uh, one big huge con before I got an update. Yes, I received an update while making this review ninjas. I was using Black Shark for a few days. Anyway, but I received the update and unbelievable what, what was in this update. They added 90 hertz, 90 FPS uh, gaming experience. Can you believe this? That all the reviewers who had this Black Shark 3 before me, two, three, Three weeks ago and just nobody said this nobody even reported this problem nobody even tested the game so 90 fps what is the point of reviewing a gaming device not showing the may the Probably the number one main feature to get a, a gaming device right now because of the higher refresh rate ninjas. You know this, you know, you probably know this ninjas. So honestly, I can't trust to anybody else anymore. Like I said here, I only trust to myself when I receive a smartphone and I have it in my own hands. The This tech reviewer world is just getting really dump and dumper and dumper and dumper and lazier and lazier ninjas. Anyway, lack of SD card expansion. No certified, if I can call it like that, no certification for the waterproof uh, feature. But again, I'll, that'll be just too much asking. <laughs> I remember that one under the authority set for the Xiaomi Mi A3, which was $180. They said it's a con that having a uh, waterproof feature. <laughs> for $180, can you believe that? This device here, $550 to $600, yes, we do have a Samsung S10, remember that, that it has a waterproof feature, so you do have some flagship smartphones on the market with the IP68 rated, uh, of course, certification. Anyway, Black Shark 3, the Chinese version right now, no HD Netflix support with the China version, no wide one, uh, wide one L1 support. Probably only in the global this is gonna be released. No FM radio support, no EIS video on the front, no 8K video support like with the Magic 5G. Again, this is still a little bit gimmicky because 8K, uh, you can't use it while holding the smartphone with your hands, only maybe on the tripod or on the gimbal. And uh, the FPS is maximum topped at 24, 25, something like that. No video output with, uh, with the Type-C USB port. Uh, 8 gigs RAM version only has 30 watts charging speed while other versions and pro basically the pro version comes with the 65 watts so just to remember that don't be uh, kind of blinded by the commercials that you're gonna receive with this basic model 64 uh, watts charging speed and the charger in the box no you're not gonna do that what I can say also as a con five months old security patch come on Xiaomi I mean five months don't get it anyway liquid cooling not good as advertised somehow Xiaomi Mi 10 heats less though yes Mi 10 also has a cooling system VC uh, vapor chambers don't get me wrong temperatures with the Shark 3 are still really impressive really good not overheating at all but with my testing Mi 10 heats less interesting ninjas Again, one of the biggest uh, main features of buying a gaming device is they should have a better heating dissipation and better uh, liquid systems. But in this case, it seems that it's not. The headphone jack port is not good position since many gamepads do not have access for two sides ports and two cables on four different sides. So remember that. Again, if you're not going to use a gamepad, this is not a con. But if you're going to use a gamepad, this is going to be a slight small con. Again, you, can't, uh, you can uh, basically just flip the gamepad to the side where you have available ports to pass through the cable for the headphone jack. But if you want to charge the smartphone all the time in the same time while gaming and using the headphone jack, then you're not going to be able to use these two things. You can choose charging and the gamepad or the headphone uh, and the gamepad. Remember that. And on, anyway, since other two gaming phones uh, come with the 144 Hz, uh, maybe we can say that the shame that the Shark 3 doesn't come with the 120 Hz screen. But that would be probably cost more. So remember that 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 would be probably the Black Shark 3 would probably cost more if it had 144 Hz or 120 Hz. So yes, Red Magic. 5G wins in this department if you want to have this cool cool feature for some is maybe gimmick for some not but there are many games which support at least 
120 FPS with 144 Hertz screen. So remember that. And we just so yeah, this is it. This is it. My thoughts: Should you buy it? Big yes. If you are a gamer, especially if you are into recording gameplays videos, uh, this phone is perfect for you. Almost shame it doesn't have an SD card expansion. If you need it, then wait for the Redmi K30 Pro. That phone will have an SD card expansion. So far, every other Snapdragon A65 phone doesn't come with expandable storage. I know, shame for data storing junkies. Remember, there is also a Pro version which has a larger display, larger battery with the 65 watts charging speeds, and mechanic gaming buttons. So ne no need. Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan bikum, it's your tech ninja Muhammad, so we're gonna do CPU throttling test, benchmark test there and speed test for you for the Black Shark 3 so you can find everything in one single video. Remember this is a Snapdragon A65 beast with 8 gigs of RAM, built on 7 nanometer chip technology, 128 gigs of storage, uh, UFS 3.0, not the 3.1, just have that in mind. Anyway, Android 10 of course, Android Q. You can see myself here the version of the Joy UI, Joy UI. Joy UI version 11.0.4.0. Anyway, let's begin immediately with CPU throttling test. Uh, of course, uh, we're gonna check here <clears throat> after 15 minutes. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the whole, nobody can watch 15 minutes video uh, just for the one app. So I'm just pause, uh, pause the camera right now. We're gonna see each other in 15 minutes. Stay tuned. Hey, we're going to just the Black Shark 3 after 15 minutes CPU throttling. Let's check here and also comparing it next to the. Wait a minute, what is this flight delay? Just a minute. That's fine, sorry for that. Comparing it here with the Xiaomi Mi 10 on the right side, uh, Snapdragon 865. So let's check here, a maximum 235 gyps, CPU throttle to 95%, CPU throttle at 95%. Check this out, Ninjas. Check this out, it seems that Xiaomi Mi 10 is better, Ninjas. Xiaomi uh, Mi 10, it seems that it's better, it has a better, slightly, slightly better score. This is really, really crazy what you can see here right now, that Mi 10 has an amazing, amazing optimization for the CPU throttling test and uh, basically the sustained performance. Again, uh, please make sure, don't be sad or don't be right now uh, going lunatic mode or something like that. Black Shark 3 still has a really amazing performance here with the CPU throttling test. I'm just it's showing you right now that the regular smartphone, which is not gaming, uh, sponsored or gaming marked smartphone as it is as the Black Shark 3, Red Magic and other smartphones from the gaming world and A uh, Asus ROG uh, 3 inshallah upcoming. You can see myself that the Mi 10 here with the Snapdragon A65 has an amazing, one of the best uh, CPU throttling tests and the best uh, uh, sustained performance which I already proved with my gaming. Let's move on. Okay Ninja, so we also have to test here the temperatures of the Black Shark uh, 3. Here with the CPU throttling test after 15 minutes. So normal in just normal. Really great temperatures here. The co liquid cooling system inside works really good for now. Here we have the Antutu score ninjas, uh, since the Antutu is taken away from the Google Play Store, I have to download an APK OBB over the internet. This is what we get, uh, similar, uh, let me just see here, I think so, it's slightly better than the Mi 10, let me just check here, yeah indeed it is ninja, slightly better than the Mi 10, check here the score, uh, the CPU, GPU score is all, every single score down there here is better with the Black Shark 3. So it does have this insane optimization like we see by itself. Let me just check here the brightness of these two smartphones. Oh my god, very, very similar. Crazy good uh, brightness with both of them. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, the Geekbench 5. Geekbench 5, let me just go with the Mi 10. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, where are you? Let me just find it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go, just So this is uh, Black Shark 3 on the left side. Mi 10 on the right side, Android 10 on both of them, just the MIUI versus Joe, Joe UI. And remember, yes, both of them are updated to the latest version. Similar scores, similar, similar scores. Here we have the GPU benchmark test ninjas. Uh, you can check by yourself, uh, pause this video, video if you're interested, but uh, overall, slightly higher, maybe for one or two percent. <laughs> Again, that's not a bit any difference if, in my opinion, just a small minor, minor, teeny, 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 teeny difference. Uh, to get example here, T-Rex off screen, 207 FPS versus 201 FPS. Uh, what else I can see here, the difference, we have C 1080p Manhattan, 3.1, oh no, that's off screen, that's off screen. Uh, yeah, it is just three FPS better there. Speaker test ninjas. Shark three. 
Next volume. Very loud, super crispy. Beautiful. Testing also the headphones ninjas. Wow. Very loud, very loud output with the Black Shark 3. Great sound chip inside of this beast, Ninjas. And I love the position here that it's uh, just there. In case if you want to charge it, the one cable will be on the right side and one cable on the left side. Great. Not like before, next to here, next to here, two cables. If, if you're going to charge and use the headphones at the same time. Okay, now time to show you the mic test. I recorded something. One, two, one, two. This is the mic check with the Black Shark 3. Oh. My mouth is just uh, 40 centimeters away. 40 centimeters away, Ninjas. Right now, my mouth is just a oh. few centimeters away uh, from the mic. Check, check. Quality Black Shark 3. My name is Mohammed. Oh my God, that is so crispy clean, Ninjas. Gl really loud and crispy clean. Pure 10. For the gaming, this is really amazing. Thank you, Black Shark. Thank you, Xiaomi. Okay, you just remember that uh, we don't have an FM radio with the Black Shark 3, unfortunately. We have the recorder, uh, we have file manager, downloads, contacts, me AI, uh, of course, feature if you want to use it, me remote, uh, which is really interesting. Anyway, we also have here the screen recorder and a bummer, a bummer there. Unfortunately, you'll have to download a different, I don't know how can I unlock 60 FPS, but how crazy this is that uh, Xiaomi uh, released a Black Shark with the limited 30 FPS video recording. That is really bad. Honestly, that is bad. Again, not a con, not a reason not to buy it. You can download uh, many different screen recorders, but I want to have a native one because I love the native screen recorder of the MIUI. So please make sure to unlock the 60 FPS with the future update. Please make sure to send my video to the MIUI forum. Okay, Ninjas, one of the really great features of the Black Shark 3 that you can adjust here, the lights on the back. You can see by yourself, we have three LEDs. The, the biggest one is in the middle, the Shark logo. So what I love about it, it is the gradient color. Oh my God, the gradient color is just amazing. Check this out, how beautiful the gradient color it is. You can also use the rainbow color, which may uh, will change the colors, how it goes with the waves. Waves, uh, waves changing color, if I can call it like that, you can see by yourself, changing by the waves. Beautiful. And we can adjust the breath, steady on, you name it, Ninjas. You can, you can see by yourself how it looks like steady on if you want to have it completely on. It looks something like this. This is also really cool. Or the gradient one. The gradient or the rainbow, that's one of my favorite ones. This is the gradient one. Beautiful. Anyway, let's continue next. Okay, so we're going to go to the black shark space mode with this button simply there ninjas so uh, what you can do it is here adjust the game configuration here you go you can adjust all these settings the performance mode you can go and adjust here uh, the strength and phone performance suitable for gamers with the high requirements if you want to go higher unleash the potential of the soc push it to the limits uh, ignite your enthusiasm uh, power overwhelming but this is ludi uh, ludicrous mode and just remember that ludicrous mode over here bring phones to the extreme performance. Display, you can adjust and use the HDR if you want to go with the HDR quality. Uh, touch, you can also use the Edge Anti-Mistouch. Uh, anti Video, audio, network, uh, others. Also, you can go here in ludicrous mode. This is not enabled, so just have that in mind, okay? And these are the gadgets which you can buy for the Black Shark 3 or obviously the Black Shark 2. Anyway. Remember Ninjas, with the space mode, uh, with the game mode, shark mode, you can obviously use the screen recorder and can use the FPS meter with the uh, in built-in uh, device information like the battery and the CPU consumption. I think so. Uh, that's it. Anyway, game studio, Black Shark management, all this is like what you saw with the Black Shark 2. What I need to show you, it is with the Black Shark 3 performance master mode option in the settings. You can here, here, here you can see the memory stress, memory size, battery remaining, usability, the Wi-Fi signal, intensity and net network latency. You can check many, many different things, battery and uh, performance. You can check here the battery stats if you want to check this out by yourself. So far, you can see myself, great screen on time so far. I've been super heavy using this device for 40%. I get almost three hours screen on time. Been using it for, you can see myself being gaming it, uh, gaming using YouTube, Chrome, you name it. Uh, anyway, let's continue next. What else we can show you here? It is the special features. You have the light mode, light effect uh, editor, which I showed you already. Tapless, just press and hold an item to learn more. 
can use the quick replies, you can use second space, you can use kit space, you can use the lab, fine photos and gallery, and car, car mode. Yeah, you just screen on time, me I, and also you have the me AI, uh, me, me I, uh, me I, me I, AI, me I, AI. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can adjust these things uh, if you want to go with this one. Also, they have this uh, new feature which is called screen time. Interesting, this is, uh, this is the screen time of my smartphone, three hours and 15 minutes. Beautiful. So many things I showed you with the Black Shark 3. I hope you are not annoyed by my full, really length reviews. Video comparison over the YouTube. Ninjas, by the way, I noticed while doing the comparison, oh my god, what kind of bug the Black Shark 3 has, but the brightness don't, doesn't want to go to the maximum. As soon as I uh, rotate the screen, you can see by itself, there is happening, happening the shift of the brightness. Uh, it just lowers it, but on the screen itself, on the option, it's showing me it's maximum, but it's not maximum, Ninjas. I mean, you can even notice by yourself how that it flashes, the brightness, it flashes to the maximum and just goes below. I don't know what... what how, what is this? What is this? This is crazy. Black Shark, Xiaomi, what are you doing? This is not the maximum brightness of this uh, smartphone at all. But uh, like, even if I put the auto brightness, it's the same brightness, Ninjas. You can even notice while I'm changing. Check it out. While I'm changing uh, the settings, you can notice the difference here in the brightness. I noticed that. So how I don't know how uh, fair play right now it is to do a comparison, but I'm going to still do it for you, Ninjas. So Ninjas, uh, what was not here before the update, which was crazy, the refresh frequency, you 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 couldn't play games at 90 FPS, can you believe that? When they released this uh, smartphone and all those YouTubers who've been reviewing this device, they didn't even show you a 90 FPS, how they can even show you that this option was not even there Ninjas. And they even hid, I checked some reviews, nobody even mentioned this problem, but Xiaomi did fix that, uh, I still, I, the, the point here, the moral of the story here, why the reviewers are lazy, I don't even trust anymore to anybody until I get the smartphone by myself with my own hands ninjas so please ninjas be careful in the future don't look at the other reviewers they are just basically uh, boofing themselves ninjas they are just debunking themselves uh, by themselves just by their own lazy reviews uh, without doing it in depth uh, even if they say it is a full review it's not a full review ninjas they didn't mention the most important thing of this gaming device is a 90 hertz refresh rate and it was just unlocked now while I'm doing this review ninjas and this uh, this really, uh, smartphone was released three four weeks ago bro crazy battery life black shark 3 4720 mAh battery inside of this beast ninjas crazy crazy good uh, screen on time average use is around 8 to 9 hours what that means uh, using chrome youtube uh, basic stuff around 50 percent screen on brightness while the gaming on maximum brightness using the game mode around five hours and just really good great but there is no huge improvement from the uh, second series to the third series regarding the battery life itself in just honestly not a huge slightly small in, uh, improvements but to say like 40 50 percent improvements no no uh, anyway uh, what do we have with the standard charger in just remember that we have a 30 watts charger included in the box but also the uh, base model the normal version of the black shark 3 supports maximum 30 watts charging speed the 65 watts you have to buy the uh, basically the pro version the higher versions more expensive ones and what i love about the black shark 3 yes it does have even with the base model super fast charging speeds and also uh, it has 18 watts magnetic charging interface on the back so you, if you want to buy that uh, black shark gadgets you can also while gaming you can uh, basically charge it and that is really cool that is really cool ninjas so for now i do recommend the black shark 3 uh, as a battery it does belong in the top five best things about this device remember that this is a beast and if you use the gaming mode with the shark mode it unlocks the full power of the soc and it drains the battery faster plus it has a 90 hertz refresh rate screen okay so we're gonna test the face id and fingerprint sensor of the of course uh, black shark 3 let's begin with the face id Not bad, Ninjas, not bad. Let's go with the in-display fingerprint sensor. Yeah. 
Okay, not bad. Also, from 10 attempts, I do have sometimes have one uh, unsuccessful attempt. And just think that's normal. Uh, still, the in-display fingerprint uh, sensor technology has to advance at least in this world between five to six hundred dollars. Uh, more expensive smartphones obviously have a better uh, locking system, a better software regarding that. But for for now, it's still. Uh, Needs, needs improvements, needs improvements, uh, you get the point. Let's go next. Or then get it, all buying links are in the description. Thank you for watching this video, share it everywhere, especially to the dumb reviewers who didn't had uh, decency to do what they should do. Uh, basically review one of the most important aspects of a gaming device that is a high refresh rate and better FPS in the gaming. Nobody done that so far, only what is uh, circulating over the YouTube, it is the some Chinese gameplay of a PUBG, PUBG Chinese version that supports 90 FPS. And that's it, and that's probably maybe even a dubmo uh, from the Xiaomi Black Shark community or so, but uh, standard reviewers, nobody even showed that. Man, that is crazy, honestly, I don't know where this, go, where this tech world is going, honestly, I don't know what is happening ninjas seriously anyway thank you for watching my name is Mohammed. Uh, wish you all the best signing out from bosnia and herzegovina